the Tinder swindler. Let's react to this man. So first of all, I just wanna apologize for the delay of this video. My enemies have been after me. <laughs> and I've been having to survive through unique ways. If you've watched the Tinder Swindler, you might be able to relate to what I'm saying a little bit, man. It was a little bit of a while ago now, but like I said, had some problems, had to deal with them. The Tinder, the Tinder Swindler is a legend. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> you know them ones like this is, I don't even know how you structure an essay. I'm sure you're supposed to put your, your personal feelings last, but I'm gonna put this straight in there, in the title. I rate my man, yeah? I don't rate stealing and the lies and the, but you know what, to come out of this clean and Netflix deal and red, little, little, little round of applause for your bro. So his, his actual name is Shimon Hayut. And he is an Israeli con man. Cause he told the Gallim his name is Lev Leviev, AKA the King of Diamonds. The Leviev family are famous Israeli family of the heavy, heavy, heavy in the diamond industry, which is a heavy, heavy industry. So let me give you a little rundown for those who don't know. Tinder is a dating app, you know that, right? Um, guys go on there, girls go on there to find members of the opposite sex, same sex, whatever. Go to get dates, go to link up. Um, this guy's profile is the absolute bee's knees. There's yachts on there, there's sports cars, um, pictures in all these exotic locations, so He's getting a lot of, what is it, swipes or something, ticks or whatever. Matches. Matches, matches, yeah? He gets a lot of matches. He links up with the girls that he matches with and he treats them like absolute princesses. You get me? Luxury holidays. He's telling them, yeah, pack your bags, my driver's outside and rip. I'm not going to lie. First of all, I kind of thought that these guys trust people because that's just a man on the app that just sent a vehicle outside your house and you're getting in the vehicle but big up Shimon Hayu he's not putting the women in any danger but they putting their purses in danger because he is doing the absolute mad thing he says he's the king of diamonds he says he's part of a diamond trading family he's not he's part of a normal family and he's a thief so basically what he does is He's a scam artist. It will scam a girl to take out the next girl, to take out the next girl, to take out the, and it's all just one big circle. Um, the first two girls that he has on, that they show on the documentary, I think one of them Swedish. I'm sure one, yeah, one of them Swedish, one of them from somewhere else in Europe. And straight away you can see, both of them wealthy-ish, you know what I mean? Swedish one, say like middle class-ish, you get me, past working class, but the other one, she's the bee's knees, she's rich, you know what I mean? So she isn't really impressed by my man's money, but at the same time, she's saying, you're my kind of person, you know what I mean? You're rich, I'm rich, I don't really meet a lot of people like me that are in the same financial bracket as me, so we'll be cool. The, the broker one, the one with less peas, Obviously, she fell in love with my man because she ain't really got no money right now. She's on whatever my man saying, meet me here, meet me there. She's going there. The rich one, she's saying, oh, I kind of just see you as a friend, you know. But uh, my man's such a criminal mastermind villain thief. that he said, yeah, we could be friends. And he still scammed her as a friend. <laughs> scammed her as a friend. So that man can't get a hug. That's, this is crazy. But yeah, let's, yeah. So, long story short, he, halfway into treating these girls, he drops a bomb on them. He says, the diamond industry is very cutthroat and 
have a lot of enemies. My enemies, they are after me. They are tracking me down. And he says the way they're tracking him down is by what he's spending. They're saying, obviously, he's a rich man. Everywhere he goes, he leaves a paper trail. Um, chauffeur, cars, hotels, restaurant receipts. So it's not hard to really find out where he is based on his spending activity. So what he says to them is you spend your dough and I will pay you back. He's taken these gal to all the flipping volcanoes in the world. So they have no reason to think he's gonna bump them. And especially with the kind of money that the spending habits that he's displaying, you'd, you'd probably get quite concerned if you was to think someone was after someone with that kind of money. You're just thinking, Raw, how much money did they have? What, like, what, what did they have to be onto a millionaire? You know what I mean? So, at first, it would just be like 10 grand here, 10 grand there, and he pays them back, innit? Sometimes they'll even pay them back way more than what he sent them, just for like security. So I think one girl, he made her send like 20 grand or something. He sent her back close to six figures. She was like, raw. God, I'll, I'll borrow you money tomorrow if you want some. You know what I mean? But that's just cause he's just teeth another, from another girl down the road. And that's genius. It's just a circle of lies and he's just in the middle and they can't even see him. And it's crazy. But let's go into a little bit more now. He has a security guard. If you watch the Kanye West episode, we heard a song called Security. And there's no correlation, but I just had to mention that. This security guard is the, twi the Tinder swindler's main tool into selling the lie to his victims. And I gotta call them victims, you know what I mean? As much as I rate him, I rate... When things are stolen off people, these people are victims, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But the way he used to convince his victims, long before he does this, by the way, he lets them know that there's Peter. He lets them know, I have a security guard, I have a bodyguard, yeah? And when someone says, I have a bodyguard, you're like, right, that's serious, what you got? You know them ones, you're thinking, you got some kind of, what you got on you? You know what I mean? Brother, and Peter don't look like a lot of things can bring him down. But that don't stop the Tinder swindler from messaging your phone, Peter is down. <laughs> It is terrible. My enemies, they have caught him. And I just got to pause for a second. Because that ain't even a good lie. That ain't even... Like, he's got, like, one cut above his eyebrow and, like, a little bit of ketchup in the corner of his mouth. As if... If, if my millionaire friend messaged me talking about my bodyguard's down, I'm saying, brother, Kanye West got to your security. That ain't got nothing to do with me, rude boy. He don't get frisked. You can't be on his mum's album. I ain't, don't call me, bro. I've got about two grand sometimes on payday. Yeah? You're trying to make me, you want me to go get the man that done up the millionaire's security? We... We were lost in translation, translation somewhere. When someone speaking another language, we're from different regions. Cause this ain't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah? But long story short, the Gallim just help. They just help, they, they, they send the money. And eventually he, he stops paying them back. He just says, you know what? The enemies are so on me that you need to take a credit card out in your name. That is scary. Listen, I went to the bank the other day. I put on a shirt. I put on a trouser. I even went there in earrings. Yeah? I said, can I have a credit card? They said, rude boy, no. So I don't know what them gal was wearing in the bank to be getting out credit card. But they're getting out credit card. Say American Express did it, all of this. But he'll tell them to go He'll try to do a madness on the credit card. Try to buy something for like 27 grand. 
obviously the bank shouting the women like someone's trying to do the madness on your credit card but then he'll call them like baby like approve it that can only happen so many times mr manager in the flipping lloyd's bank is gonna go hold on my brother what's going on because i see your pay slips <laughs> How are you spending this? How are you going to pay this back? So then obviously she'll alert him like, babes, like, they're, just, they're, they're on to me. Like, they're saying like, I ain't got the credit. This smart ass registers them to his business as an employer that's on like 90K a month. Your credit score is with Elvis and them man there right now. Your, your credit score is making a tune with Tupac, Biggie and Michael Jackson right now, yeah? So obviously when your credit goes all the way out, you could basically take out anything. He's rinsing up the gallem, rinsing up the gallem. But remember, he's just using the money that they give him to spend on other victims. This is crazy. Like, are you hearing what's going on? He's doing human centipede of crimes. This is nuts. This is like, there's no, they're there. Like, this is, this is crazy. So eventually, like all baddies, and that's the moral of Hype Reacts, you will get caught. You get me? I'm doing, I'm not glorifying. I know I gave him round of applause 18 times, but now with, hey, Shimon, how you t I'm listen, hey, listen, we do emotional U-turns on this show. We do that. If you've been watching, you would have seen. Yeah? But he got caught. The gal let him get a little bit clued up and they realise what's going on. So the girl that, one of the girls that was onto him, that realised what was going on, she started kind of messing him about. So my man would be like, listen, my enemies are on me. Rare, rare, rare. I'm going to send you so-and-so dough, like, buy this for me or whatever. And she'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. It's calm. He, she'll just spend off my man's money, mash up his credit, rare, rare. He's calling, baby, you are making me really angry. I love you, but I would, I would, I'm the Tinder swindler. He basically, he, it's like he wanted to just say, babes, you think I love you, but I've been robbing you. You need to cooperate. Cause I got the money for the rocket launcher right now. Send that, send the racks, send the racks. Cause I got some Russian girl on my side right now. Yeah. Listen, he got caught. Moral of the story is he got caught. But this is why he's a little bit of a legend, just a little bit. I know the victims, I'm sorry for the victims, but we, the guy that done you, 19th clap, I'm sorry. But it's, it's he, how? He got, I think he got sentenced to five years in prison. It says he was sentenced to two years of prison in Finland and he did 15 months in Israel. So he's done a little bit, he's done a little bit of bird. He can handle himself. He's been, he's been where we've been lads. Don't respect him a little bit. Yeah, but this is the part that I found quite interesting. Although he's been to prison in two different countries, he's still wanted by three. <laughs> And that is Norway, we got Odegaard, Sweden, Zlatan, hello. And United Kingdom, hello mum. <laughs> Which is, is, that's amazing. That's proper like, wanted in Scandinavia and the UK. That's like, that's unique. That is, yeah, he's nuts. He, he, the last video I saw of the Tinder Swindler, let me learn. He's sending a video, a parody video, to AJ Tracy's girlfriend, saying your girlfriend, your man has been caught by the enemies and he needs a PS5. That is so quality, bruv. That is like, that's nuts. That's like, oh, bank robber went to jail for bank robbery. What does he do now? Male stripper that dresses up as a robber comes to your house, strips, and then steals all your stuff. And it's like, but he's meant to do that. So it's like, 
a man has made a living off his crimes, for real. And I saw the actual Livia family want to sue him, but they're finding it hard to because when you change your name, they're like suing your name kind of thing. And Simon Liviev's like their son. He don't exist, but if he did, he'd be their son. He's just Shimon Hayek. Sue him for what? He's got about a fiver. Take you be like, cool, let's go court. You can have my glasses if you want and my Tinder account. But I got the big boy Netflix deal. He's, he's, he goes around the world now doing seminars on how to get a woman. Bro, do you know what this is, bro? This is real life villains, bro. Like this is, bro, like, you know, you see Pat, Dragon Ball Z, a man just come through, destroy the whole world. That's him, bro. He's Israeli Dragon Ball Z bad guy. Israeli boo, they got margin boo. This is Israeli boo. He's coming down and he's flipping this. Nah, this is, nah. We need, bro, do you know what? I, listen. This is what I got to give my man. How the hell are you so smooth in all pictures? You're getting arrested there and you look smoother than me. That's nuts. The, listen, another angle of him getting arrested. He's still smooth. He's, nah, he's amazing. He's amazing. I also read that Peter is suing him for defamation of character. Because he's saying you used me to. So my thing was when he was putting like the ketchup in the corner of your mouth and like applying the the red marker on your forehead. Did you not think then? Hold on, I'm being used in a crime here. This ain't right. Because even I'm not gonna lie, them video, them pictures of you. Because. At the time, like I said, if my, one of my friends sent me a picture of his bodyguard in the back of the, back of the ambulance, I'm going to do what I can to help. But after I actually take a look at these pictures, bruv, did it, is that a green screen? Are you actually really in an ambulance, Peter? Is your name really Peter? <laughs> is Peter a real person? Because Peter could be like a computer generation, like Tupac was a hologram in the concert. So who's Peter? Because I don't know what's going on. Peter the body bodyguard. Every picture I see of him, he doesn't look like a real person. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, like I said, man, karma. Karma, man, karma. They, they, someone swindled the swindler. They did it. He sold all his things. Sold all his things. But the catch is he bought it with stolen money, so he still won. He still won, you can't defeat him, he's unbeaten. <laughs> He's unbeaten. He's, 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 he's wanted in three countries and he's getting arrested looking smooth. There's, there's, there's not a point I can make here to make him n not be the greatest. I'm not going to lie. And I'm sorry to the victims. I am. But I can't. Listen, they, listen, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Yeah, A man once sold me an iPad in a petrol station for 25 pound. I got home, it was a slate of plaster. I was very angry, but there was a bit of respect there. If I had to go court to get him in prison, I would do that. So if you do have information about who that man is, please come forward because that, that 25 pound was meant to go on petrol for my vehicle. I then had to leave my, but let, let, me, let me wheel it in. I would say judge. He definitely put him in prison and throw away the key because I cannot play, I cannot what I can't stream movies on a slab of plaster. But well done to him. That was decent. That is the picture. That's the Texaco swindler. He done me. <laughs> and all the all the other victims, we can link up, put all our pieces of plaster together and like make a, like a giant mosaic or something because it can't go to waste. I still got mine. Where's yours? This is crazy. And even on, the, even on the other side, I've tried to swindle people. I remember, you know, in, in, in Sainsbury's, they got the, the, the already cooked chicken. I tried to go around the shop eating the chicken like it wasn't 2007 or whatever year it was. 
like CCTV ain't HD. Brother, I got to the flipping. Um, this is I got to the, the exit. This is like the first self checkout. So it must have been. I tell a lie. It must have been. Like, yeah, it's probably like 07, 08. This is the first self checkout, brother. I see all the security lining across the thing. Like, a, like, like they were going to do the rugby thing. You know, the New Zealand thing. Ah, I thought they was going to do that. I said, brother, how much was that? How, how much was that? All that, mate? 750 gone in. Chip and pin. I'm not getting arrested. I'm not getting arrested. So I ain't even, I ain't even been, got to be a swindler. I, was, I tried to be the chicken swindler. Security was too strong. I just paid for it. I just paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Don't steal. Don't steal unless you got a fake bodyguard that you can say that's down at any moment and then Gyal just send you peas. I love that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'd love to meet you, um, Simon, Lev, whatever you want to call, but you're wanted in my country. Um, <laughs> simple as that. That's a yeah, but don't get swindled, girls, man. <laughs> You get me, cause yeah, just don't do it, cause that is, he's like I said, he's he's out there giving seminars on how to do this to more people. So be careful, yeah, be careful on the dating apps. Don't steal. And twenty second round of applause for my man, because I have to end it like that way. I need him to know I respect what you're doing. Like the guy that sold me the slab for twenty five pounds, still got the slab. He said stops to like you know what I mean but yeah let me know what I should um react to next and also there's gonna be PayPal details here because the enemies <laughs> I'm sure you've seen I've got a different wife now the enemies have got my first wife so everyone all the subscribers we're past 10k now send a fiver that's about 50 something grand Hairline surgery is about six grand. I could get a hat as well with the hairline surgery. Yeah? Big up everyone. Like and subscribe. Heart reacts.